the Nikabi Diary Season 1 Illustrated Book is now available in paperback. Own your copy now by clicking the link in the description box. Assalamu alaikum. You're listening to the Nakabi Diary series by The Pen, the sound of sisters raising their voices with the written word. I'm your host Samar and thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh sister, how are you? Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah really well, how are you? Alhamdulillah, very good. Um, today, um, listeners, we have Sister Zahra. She's going to talk um, about her book, inshallah, her latest book that she's actually released. Um, you've released two books now, I think, yeah? Yeah, alhamdulillah, very okay. small ones. Okay, okay well, alhamdulillah, <laughs> but mashallah, very nice. So at least uh, this book, I have read it and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. So can you let the listeners know what is this book called, your latest book, and what is it about? Okay, so uh, my latest book is called From One Sister to Another with Love. And um, it's just a light read, really, for sisters. Um, I aimed it just to talk about some topics that um, we can relate to as women and um, Islamic, with like an Islamic touch. So it's all about uh, the rights uh, we have been given in Islam and the rights given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then um, some of the role models we can take because, as you know, we have some like crazy role models that the youth are looking up to. Mm -hmm. um, and we really do not want uh, celebrities to be the be all and end all for our young women um, sisters. So, um, yeah, so I just included a few role models that we can look up to through our history, Islamic history who are uh, women, great women, who were completely different to each other. They had completely different characteristics, completely different personalities, but um, they were all amazing in their own way and so steadfast on the religion as well. So included them and just a few topics that um, really um, are aimed towards women, really, and how we can try and improve our relationship with our creator. MashaAllah, alhamdulillah. So what, what inspired you to actually write this book in the first place? Um, well, I teach. So I um, teach young girls, um, but a lot of the girls who attend my classes are quite young. So in their early teens, going up to their late teens. Um, and I wanted to because, um, you know, I know how frustrated they get some of the times, so, you know, when they ask me questions and it's about uh, topics on the deen and they always mention like I would give them books <laughs> you know names of books to go and read and they would come back a little bit disappointed and they would say to me look um I don't feel because they felt like the the writer didn't understand them mm. or so they would say uh, for instance um topics like about the duty of wives uh, wives duties etc so they felt like some of the books were targeted towards um written by men and through their lens um so after like talking to them and you know explaining everything to them about how we can understand these things um in a holistic way that will improve their relationship as women um who are reading these books um i uh, really thought I would take a deep dive into the books myself myself so I did do that and I kind of understood what they meant yeah so I thought I would maybe just I'm not a brilliant writer myself but um I thought because I have this platform where girls do come to me and ask these questions I, I would just like write a short little book um, that is based more around providing a loving touch in the way I, um, you know, put Islamic topics forward to them. So, yeah, that was um, the that was the reason why I really wanted to write it, and I began writing it for that reason. Alhamdulillah. So, what would you say was your the the your main message with this book itself that you're trying to get across to these young girls? The main message is that um, Islam isn't just a religion for men. I know that a lot of women feel that way, um, but it's not a religion just for men. It's a religion for women. It's a religion, um, you know, for everybody. So, um, yeah, I just really wanted them to feel that they were included and they had value and they do have value. This, you know, our deen gives us value. And yeah, so I just wanted them to feel that. 
I'm doing that. And um, so what would you say was your biggest challenge um, writing this book? I would say that um, my biggest challenge was to um, try and bring forth something that I'm not overstepping any boundaries in writing and um, just to try and be aware of different sisters and different emotional um, you know, understanding some sisters have. So I didn't want to offend anybody um, because everybody's on a different journey, a different um, step in their journey. So um, I didn't want to offend anybody or cause anybody to feel left out. So I think that was my biggest hurdle, trying to um, write it in a way that everybody, no matter what stage you're in, in your religious journey, that you everybody can kind of relate to. Mashallah, mashallah. So um, who would you say were your biggest supporters while you was writing this book? Oh, definitely my mum. <laughs> Ever since I, I wrote my first book, Hot Coals, um, Fire Reminders for Your Faith, my mum, she had always just wanted a writer in the family. <laughs> so she um, she was the one who, she's been actually been after me. As soon as I wrote Hot Coals, she was saying, now you've got to write another one. <laughs> um, but but I, I'm not really a writer in that. I don't consider myself a writer because... I can't just sit down and write like that. I have to be in the right phase of mind. Um, and literally, I can only write after like the hedge of time. That's the only time my mind actually works. So um, it's a sl slow process for me. But she has definitely been my uh, number one big supporter. Alhamdulillah, she's quite proud of me. <laughs> Allah, my bad sister. You say you're not a writer, yet you have produced two books. <laughs> Mashallah, and do you have a schedule even that you, you have a specific time to write? I would consider that you're definitely a writer, sister. Do you know what? I have like um, a proper writer's block all the time. I literally can't write until I'm not completely focused. So, yeah, Mashallah. <laughs> but Alhamdulillah, you're doing well. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Sorry, did you did you did you want to be a writer when you was growing up, or is that was that just purely your mum's dream? Is it her that's pushed you all the way, or is it something that you actually oh. thought you would be able to do? Always not at all <laughs> not at all I didn't think I would be a writer at all um my as younger sister who's younger than me she was everybody thought would be the writer of the family <laughs> but um for me it was um uh, my granddad really mm. um my granddad was always into writing he was an amazing writer himself and um he was really we had a really close connection and whilst he was alive uh, we always had that so when he passed away um initially he was one of the reasons why I wrote my initial first book so I had a few intentions writing that book but his um for Sadhgajariya for his sake because he really pushed me to write so I kept that in mind and hoping that he would receive some uh, reward for <laughs> for his encouragement in writing pushing me towards that way so really it was my grandfather's influence and um it was just I didn't even think I was going to write. I literally just picked up the pen and paper after he passed away. Oh, so, wow. yeah, after I wrote my first book, then the second book just came naturally, I think. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Well, inshallah, any ideas for a third book? I am currently writing a third book. Inshallah, but she said she's not a writer, but she is, mashallah. I think you need to start <laughs> saying that now. You need to claim it, own it. You are a writer, mashallah. You are a writer. <laughs> I don't know I think <laughs> saying you're a writer puts a lot of pressure on you Alhamdulillah definitely you're, you're a writer you're writing that makes you a writer Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. so um, sister what would you advise other sisters who like yourself don't consider themselves to be writers but they <laughs> they want to write they want to write books what would you what advice would you give them oh okay so firstly um Firstly, I know a few sisters now, Allah who are who are who have picked, you know, started um, writing, and I think it's so amazing to see um, people are actually beginning to read books a lot more as well. So it's it's an amazing um, amazing treasure to put forth for your akhira because I always think that writing is one thing and books are one thing that will always last, mm -hmm. um, and even if you pass away, your writings will keep you alive in a way and. Anybody who benefits from anything you write, uh, you will receive rewards for it, even in your grave. So um, the first thing is to, I would advise to 
you know, make sure that you have the correct intentions. Um, you can have multiple intentions, like you can have the intention of um, for subgajari, etc. But always have the intention that a clear intention that the reason you want to write is um, ultimately going to benefit your dean and benefit other people as well. So I would say intention is the most important thing because, as we know, um, the hadith mubarakah that inna mal a'malu bin niyad that you know, intention, uh, inter actions are by are put by their intentions. So, yes, intentions. Make sure that they are clear. Um, the second thing I would advise is always pray stakhara. So even when you sit down to write, make sure you have enough knowledge on the topic you you want to write on, and um, uh, pray stakhara throughout um, throughout the whole process. So even when you're writing, make sure stakhara does not leave your side. And do your research, gather information, and then just compile it together. And I would say that once you feel like you do have an order put together and a book compiled, always have it checked over. So if you're going to be, if you're writing um, an Islamic book, for instance, I think more care, care needs to be put into that, into them kind of books. So make sure you know who your audience is, firstly, and write according to them, according to your audience. For me, my audience has always been um, because I wanted my books to be accessible to everybody, no matter how young they are, no matter how old they are. So uh, I've kept my the language really, really easy in my books. So if you are aiming your book for more like the intellectual type and, you know, aim just read your audience, really. And um, the last advice I would give is just to have it checked over by somebody. If you're writing an Islamic book, make sure you send the PDF um, over to a few scholars um, mm. and they will read it through for you and they will give you constructive criticism and edit bits for you as well. So I always think, yeah, I think that's about it. And um, there's so many easy ways to publish now. There's self-publishing as well. I personally didn't go down that route, but um, I do know that there is that as well. And yeah, um, I pray if anybody does want to um, get into writing or has is writing currently a book or has written a book that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it a means of gaining his pleasure. Amen. Yeah. I mean, mashallah, that's beautiful advice. So you mentioned that you went down the, uh, you didn't go down the self-publishing route. So how, how um, what advice would you give like in that respect? Because you, how did you get your book to be published? How did you go about doing that? Right. So for me, I um, did, did spend a lot of time um, researching different publications, but uh, publishing companies. But um, I did send my PDF over to a few Islamic ones as well, because ideally I wanted to go within Islamic publishers because mm -hmm. um, because of the nature of my books. But um, I didn't get much um, feedback from anybody and um, a lot of them did, weren't willing to read it. So um, I then just went, I, I was on Twitter one day scrolling mm -hmm. <laughs> and I came across um, a publishing company called Leaf Publishing House and they, their director is a Muslim. So I thought, okay, let me message him and see if I can get this done. And they were so happy to do it and more than happy to do my second book as well. So it was, bit, it was very easy for me to go down that route with them. Come to do that, mashallah. That's that's amazing, mashallah. Barakallah, feet. Um, so definitely, um, inshallah. Where is your book available, sister? It's um, if you Google the title, it's actually available in so many bookstores. Um, but it's um available in like Waterstones and um Booktopia, um all the like the major bookstores. But it's also easily readily available on Amazon and eBay as well. Okay, mashallah. And um, is it available in ebook as well as an ebook? Oh, it's not, not, not at the moment. No, <laughs> sorry okay. about that. Okay. I've had a few people ask me about that, but I do need to get back to my publishers about that. Okay, I, I don't have it. No. Mashallah, that sounds that sounds very good. So inshallah, we'll put the links to um, the places that you can they can get the book online. Inshallah, so that our listeners can inshallah get a copy for themselves. Inshallah. inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah, and as well, um, is Hot Cold still in um, print at the moment? Yeah, yeah, they both will always be in print um, because Amazon basically they just um, publish as the orders come in. All oh, right, so you've got it as so, a print on demand with Amazon. Yeah, okay, yeah, great, yeah. great. Alhamdulillah. So it's easily accessible then. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, very easily. Yeah. Okay, great. Mashallah. Well, and if you do, 
I'm mm-hmm. just going to say, put this out there that if you do benefit from um, if you uh, from reading them, please do drop me a review. On oh, definitely, definitely, inshallah, inshallah. I'll have to, I'll have to do that as well because I've read the book <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't realize that it was on the Amazon. So I'll definitely have to drop you a review, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. Inshallah, mashallah. Jazakallah khair, sister. Thank you so much um, oh, yeah. for sharing this um, beautiful book with us and obviously taking the time to read and um, to, to write the book um, specifically for sisters. Because um, I think it's something that's definitely much needed. And um, I'm sure that it's going to inspire a lot of, uh, lots of other sisters who also have similar um, ideas um, and the Inshallah. message that they believe that they Inshallah. Need to I'm get. sure there's so many sisters out there who can write much better than me who can put their thoughts to paper you know pen pen uh, pen and paper much clearer than I have so I'm looking forward to seeing any new um books coming out from other sisters as well Khair inshallah sister Khair inshallah inshallah jazakallah <laughs> khair sister assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh